Coding Standards in Java. We assume that you have gone through and understood the lessons Object Oriented Programming, Advantages of Object Oriented Programming, and Java Programming Language. This will help you in better understanding of this lesson. In this session, we will discuss coding standards in Java. Java programmers follow the same coding standard all over the world. First, let us see the coding standards for class names. The name of a class should be a noun, most often it is singular. The first letter should be uppercase and the rest lower. If there is more than one word, each word should start with an uppercase letter. The style in which each word starts with an uppercase is called camel casing. Calculator, timer, account holder and radio button are examples of correct class names. Calculate, test and students are bad names for classes. We will take a look at variable names. The first word of the variable will be in lowercase. In case of more than one word, we use camel casing from the second word onwards. Name, age, number of students and last drawn salary are good examples of variable names. Next, we will see the constants. The name of constants will be all uppercase. In case of more than one word, each word is separated by an underscore. Max, page length and stack size are good examples of constants. Now, the method names. The method names will be verbs. The casing style will be same as that of variables. The first word of the method will be in lower case and then it follows camel casing. Calculate, withdraw money, test and verify are good names for methods. Name, salary and large are bad examples for method names. There is naming convention for a method that returns the value of a variable. If the name of the variable is xxx, the name of the method is getxxx. Similarly, the name of the method that stores value in the variable will be named setxxx. The methods for getting and setting the variable name are getName and setName. The methods for getting and setting the variable date of birth are get date of birth and set date of birth. These methods are usually referred to as getters and setters. Methods that return boolean values are named with a prefix is or has to make it more readable. Is full, has more and is equals are examples. Let us summarize. Java class names will be nouns. Java method names will be verbs. Java class names use camel casing. Variable and method names will start with a lower case letter and then follow camel casing. Constants are all uppercase with underscore in between words. The standard methods for getting and setting data are called getters and setters. Thank you.